Hi guys, well, my FSA headset has finally given up the ghost. It's here and it is absolutely dreadful. It was basically shot after the first three months of using it and I've just kept it going for a year and I've just been to Bike Park Wales and it there's so much creaking going on, it's driving me mad. First stop with that is that I'm hoping it's just the headset and not the frame that's cracked. As you probably guessed by the title, I bought a Chris King headset. I must be mad. £175 they are now. They've just put the price up by 15 quid. So, it's here. I haven't opened it yet. All in its box. So, I'm going to put the camera down and let's have a look at what we got. So, excuse the mess in my workshop. Okay, it's still sealed. I bought a blue one. Hopefully, that's blue in the box. I got it from... Merlin Cycles, they seem to offer free delivery and everything on it, so, well you don't get much for 175 quid. <coughs> Box out of the way. Oh, look here. Ooh, look at that, get a new sticker. And this is the Drop Set 5. So this is specifically for the Specialised Enduro from 2020, 2021, and probably the new one that's coming out soon, the 2022. So, what have we got here? Well, that looks pretty smart, I've got to say. Let's take this off. The star nut, well, we don't need that because we've got the SWAT system. And get rid of that, although that is... That is quite nice, but don't use it. What have we got? Lots of bits. So, this side up. So I should be doing this on my iPhone really, because I think it's going to be better. But it's got the size on there, 52 millimeters. So that bit. Then we got the bearing itself. I've got to say that's pretty smooth a lot smoother than the one that's come out and it's got chris king stamped on it 52 millimeters and then what have we got here this is the top top bearing again it's got his name etched on it it's really really slick stuff and here we have the dust cover. Now these always stand a little bit proud on the uh, on the specialised bikes. Mind you, that's pretty sweet. Dust cover seal and top cap. And obviously the top cap nut, which I'm guessing is stainless steel. Uh, yep, A2 stainless. Well, there you go. So, I'm going to do a installation video um, so any questions chuck them in the comments there's the packaging again drop set five in navy that was all i could get i did, certainly didn't want like pink or anything daft okay i'm going to do a quick installation video and then i'll check it online all right bye so hopefully you can see this Got the... that's already on there that went on there quite easy little uh plastic mallet just tap that down got the bearing that only goes on one way with a chamfer facing upwards into the frame so I'll put that on first and make sure you got your forks around the right way and there. it's quite a nice fit and got the upper bearing the chamfer down into the steel tube and the nice shiny expensive top cap which is the only thing that you see because we've got swap so you won't even see the top bit and i'm not sure if i'm going to put this on or not but i will it's like a nylon washer i think it's just to protect it from the top and on there and spaces I've dropped one Spaces. The bars on. 
and well basically that's about it really but it's still got a hefty gap under there and they got the SWAT system to go back on so again this is just a dry run there's no I've not put any grease on this because I'm just doing this for the camera This is always fun trying to get this lined up. Oh, don't you know it? There you go. First time. Because it has the SWAT system, you tighten it up from the bottom. 5mm Allen key, it doesn't need much on it, there is a torque setting for it, I think it's about 6 newton meters from memory, but it's something that I take apart quite often. Service it, which you had to with the FSA because it was absolutely rubbish. And there you go, that's it, done. Actually feels really nice. <laughs> Yeah, certainly no play in it. And the blue matches the top of my shocks, shocks as well. Mm. It's still got that gap there, but I can, I can just about get my nail into it so it's actually tightened down quite nicely. Quite pleased with that. Gap under here looks about the same. Very smooth. Okay, well, drop set five. Hopefully that will uh, do the trick. Hopefully my frame will, frame will stop creaking. If not, I'll uh, investigate cracked frame more. But uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will fix the creaking on the frame. Okay, cheers guys, bye.